What's up nerds? If you are new to my channel, I'm Loki Nerd, a multi-season top 500 diva main. I've been playing since Overwatch Beta, and I enjoy making guides, streaming, and managing my Discord as hobbies. Throughout this video, you'll see a mix of stream games and locally recorded games. But first, a few things before we get started. Carbon Fiber is without a doubt still the best diva skin. Second, I'll refer to the micro missiles as rockets since they are literally rockets and not missiles. Lastly, I dedicate much of my time in matches to hunting the enemy Mercy. If there's one thing to take away from this guy before it even starts, it's to kill the enemy Mercy. If your team has a Mercy, and believe me, you definitely will, then by killing the enemy's team's Mercy, you effectively make it a 5v7 fight in your favor. But never mind all that. Let's talk about D.Va's rockets. Here are my go-to tips for getting the most out of D.Va's new skill. Number one, for some background context, D.Va fires 18 rockets over a duration of 1.6 seconds. The rockets take around a half a second to fire after using the ability. They do a total of 162 damage if all 18 rockets directly hit the target. Rockets damage D.Va if she's within the 1.5 meter explosion area of effect. Once the ability is pressed, the barrage of rockets cannot be stopped by any of D.Va's other abilities. However, it can be stopped by stunning her or destroying her mech. Keep in mind that D.Va is able to use this ability with every other ability, including Defense Matrix and Quick Melee. Number 2. Pre-fire the enemy spawn when on Escort Defense, Assault Defense, and Hybrid Defense maps. You can get around 10% ult charge off of a good pre-fire. I've been able to kill Squishies alongside a fellow Ryan and Symmetra pre-fire. Number 3. There are really only two primary times to use rockets, firing into a choke and using them to get picks. Firing into a choke is simple enough, however, take care not to use rockets right before your team decides to push. It is to your benefit and the benefit of your team for you to have rockets off cooldown before each major push because rockets help you get picks. Number 4. The broader scenario to talk about is diving for picks. The burst damage potential from D.Va's abilities is very high and you are easily able to kill squishies if correctly used. This is my normal sequence when committing to a pick or engaging in general for a medium range target. 1. Use boosters and primary fire going towards your target. 2. Shortly after using boosters, use rockets to start the 0.5 second warm up. 3. As you approach the target, focus on primary fire tracking. We'll get into more on that in a second. 4. Move into the enemy with boosters. 5. Melee to finish them off. Given the right circumstances, this will KO even 250 HP heroes. Number 5. The only time rocket tracking should be prioritized over primary fire tracking is if you are attempting to last hit someone from long range. D.Va's primary fire does a substantially larger yeah, amount of DPS yeah, close yeah. range when compared to the rockets. Since rockets are treated as projectiles and your primary fire is hit scan, you will never hit all shots with both unless the enemy is standing still or running directly away from you. The takeaway here is to prioritize primary fire and treat random rocket damage as a bonus. Number 6. Remember that rockets can be used while matrixing. In order to keep your mecha, if you're low on health and your hitscan enemy is also low on health, then consider matrixing them while you finish them off with rockets. This is also the only time where it might be good to aim for the enemy's feet to make use of the rocket AoE. Lastly, number 7. Matrixing while firing rockets is also a great way to kill ulting heroes while denying them their ultimate. Farah, McCree, and Reaper are good candidates to use this matrix rocket combo on since their movement is limited. That's it! Thanks for your support so far. I hope that once 50% of the GM bracket isn't filled with Mercy mains, the game will become more fun for me again. Until next time, peace.